Today I am going to be reviewing Revlon's Candid Foundation. I've had these for a few weeks. I've been using them and I'm going to tell you how I feel about them, how they work, and uh, hopefully that will help you make your decision on if these are for you or not. Let's get started. The shades I'm in is number 440. This is caramel and then 400, which is macadamia. I have to mix shades because my shade is in between these. I need the tan color of 440 and I need the yellow undertone of 400 because this is too orangey pink or peachy, I guess. And this is too light. So, I mean, I have to mix them. I'm wearing it on my face today. They're $9.99 at Ulta. I don't know how much they are in other places. I'll be sure to link pricing, other details, information in the description. So open it up so you can check that out. I might've answered your question already, but I really love that this perfects your skin. It makes it look like skin without looking super heavy. It's not very sticky. It doesn't transfer on me. Um, I find that when I sweat, it doesn't like fall off. They say that it has a natural finish. It's anti-pollution um, foundation, so it's just supposed to help with the environment and kind of keep all that bad stuff off of your skin. I just like the fact that it looks like a second layer of skin and it doesn't look like a mask. Do I recommend these products? Yes, I do. Definitely go in and find your shade, like swatch it. They have testers at Ulta. The Ulta I went to, they had testers. I came to the conclusion that I definitely needed both. So that kind of sucks. You're just spending like about $20 at the drugstore for some foundation. But if you're lucky, maybe you'll find like one shade that will work for you. But I really do like these. And if you see other reviews of the Revlon Candid Foundations out there, they're legit. Like they are 100% real and I just love how it perfects the skin. I wore it from like 7.30 a.m. for a doctor's appointment for my Zadie Bug from 7.30 a.m. to like nine. And I had like a little bit of creasing underneath the eye, nothing too crazy. I mean, you're wearing the foundation nearly all day and I did not touch up because I wanted to check it out and try it. But upon first application, I really loved the way that it looked. It kind of blurs the skin in a way to where it looks like you're wearing a filter, but not, it still looks like my skin. The only way I can explain it is that it is a foundation that perfects your natural skin. I apply it with like these small brushes and I start at the chin and I start like in the center of my face and I just blend out. I don't put it all over the face and I don't find that I need a ton of product either. I need like maybe one pump of 440 because this is the deeper shade and then I need like half a pump of 400 to make the perfect shade for me. So I'm sure you'll see it when you see this makeup tutorial if you haven't already. If it's not all up already, I'll show you how to get like the fresh ultimate glossy skin, very healthy, very glowy. And I'm using this foundation as my complexion and it's amazing. So do you need it? If you need a new foundation, sure. Is it really good? Yes, it is. Hope you enjoyed my first look on the Revlon Candid Foundation. If you have any questions about it, comment down below. I would love for you to subscribe and join the Alpha Boss family. You can also turn on the bell so you get notifications of my videos. I'm also on my blog, kalelogonero.com where I post more beauty stuff, things that I don't talk about here, I talk about there too. For in-between posts, you can check Instagram at Kalei underscore Lagunero because I'm always there making mini tutorials on IGTV, making posts and all that stuff, talking to you guys, following you guys. I do follow you. If I see you active and you're alpha, I, I follow you. That's just me. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.